I used to work in retail a um, long time ago and I sold electronics at Brand Smart. You remember Brand Smart Electronics? The Brand Smart place, place to, to buy, buy electronics. Oh okay. my gosh. Um, well, they were local. They, were, I, they weren't they were a big box store by any means. They were big in Kansas City only. Mm -hmm. They were a Kansas City store, a uh, local store. Um, but when we would get like Sony reps and Onkyo reps and you know, you just, uh, everybody, Rockford, Fosgate, you know, everybody's trying to, you know, the reps will come in and they're saying, okay, here's our speakers, here's this, here's. But I knew as the salesman, and I'm, this is leading to a question. Mm -hmm. So I knew as the salesman that if you came in and you were looking at these five stereos, I'm gonna make more money off of this one because maybe the rep offered what they call a spiff. Uh -huh. or a rebate or something yeah, like, like that. So if I sell you that, I get not only do I get the commission, but I get like 50 bucks on yeah. top of it or a hundred bucks or 300 bucks. Yeah. Or, you know, um, or there's maybe a bunch of stuff they're trying to get rid of and whoever sells the most gets a thousand dollar bonus. Yes. Does the gun industry work like that too? Yes, it does. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, it does. I, I'm getting deep into the, the, the retail aspect. This is good. It absolutely this. does work like that. Um, our distribution companies and our sales reps do get manufacturer rebates and manufacturer discounts. There are rebates and discounts for the dealers themselves. And then there are also rebates for the customers too. I, I mean, I'm sure you've seen it where it's like, hey, get this much in credit if you buy this gun and a box of our brand of ammo with it, or hey, we're running, it's um, this particular brand is having a month long rebate sale where if you buy any of these new firearms and you show proof of purchase, you know, your serial number, everything, your information on your receipt, you get a hefty discount. So that gun that you bought um, and maybe you spent $500 on it and you got a $75 or $100 discount on it. So it's, some of those start to look pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and likewise, ours, for ours, it's like what you said, quantity sold. Mm -hmm. Like how many of this product can you move within this time frame or whatever? There's incentives. And then, so, so incentives for the business. Yeah, incentives, okay. incentives for the businesses to move. And sometimes it's like, well, if you keep moving our product, we might let you have first right of refusal on some of those uh, brand ah, new items, okay. so the latest always some and sort greatest. Of benefit. Yes. Yeah. So, awesome. well, so you see things like that trickle down. So like the stores that move more of a certain brand, they might actually get the newest, latest and greatest before everybody else sees it too. Gotcha. So that's why it pays to shop around. You Absolutely. never know what Absolutely. you're going to find at all these other tiny little stores. Mm -hmm. So something that I know about you and anybody that's ever watched a video about with you in it, they know this about you too, is you're not the type of person that thinks that this gun is best for so-and-so or that gun's at all. You're the type of person that you try to help a person find what's best for them with no partiality at all yeah. that I've noticed because everybody's different. Yeah. Everybody likes something different. There's different guns. Um, so how does that, you know, like let's say you get a bunch of guns that you got to move. Yeah. Uh, that you know the, the distributor says, all right, I give you all these guns. You gotta get rid of them in thirty days. Yep. How does that? Because you're not that type of person. I, I don't see that I influencing wouldn't. you to push anybody towards a certain product at all. <laughs> so no. How does that kind of affect you? If you don't mind me asking, yes. as because your your goal and that I've noticed is to help somebody find what's perfect for them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, luckily. I've never had the um, displeasure of having to unload firearms onto individuals that weren't ready for those guns or it didn't fit their criteria of what they were looking for in a firearm. That I haven't That's had good. that experience yet. Um, I have had some experiences where people come in wanting something and then find out the thing that they really wanted, they can't operate it by themselves. Sure. They just, they're lacking the strength. 
um, because they had surgery recently or something like that and they just, but they have to have it, but they just can't make it work for where they are in their life right then and there. And I'm like, if you still want to buy it, you know, keep up on your, your PT exercises <laughs> and everything like that. And you will be able to run this, but I do not know how long it will take you personally to do that. Uh, and in the meantime, can I show you something that you can use while you're convalescing, while you're getting better? Mm -hmm.